Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. If you have a toddler bed, we have important information to pass along. New mandatory standards have been approved to ensure your child is safe. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with more on that, along with two major recalls just announced. We're all about making sure you and your family stay safe. Tonight is no exception. We've just learned of two pretty big recalls of products that you could have in your closets at home right now. But first, big changes for toddler beds to prevent tragedies. Four deaths and 43 injuries associated with toddler beds. These tragic incidents reported by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. To prevent further injuries, mandatory standards to improve toddler bed safety has now been approved. The new federal standard requires the upper edge of the guardrail must be at least five inches above the mattress. Spindle strength testing must be consistent with crib spindles. Separate warning labels to address entrapments or strangulation hazards must appear on toddler beds. About 1 million cans of Redken spray moose foam are being recalled. Redken has received 41 reports of cans rupturing. The aerosol containers liner can corrode over time, posing a risk of the cans rupturing and expelling its contents. The recall involves Redken Guts 10 volume spray moose foam. Consumers should stop using the moose, record the lot code, then discard the contents by spraying it into a garbage can in a well-ventilated area. 90,000 of these cute girls top sold by Michelle of New York, not so cute according to the CPSC, all being recalled. The problem? The lead. Jewelry and decorative trim attached to the girls' garments contain high levels of lead. Lead is toxic if ingested by young children and can cause adverse health effects. The recalled clothes sold at Burlington Coat Factory, Kohl's and other retail chains nationwide. For more information on these recalls and many others, log on to WPRI.com and click on 12 for Action. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News. More consumer coverage. The IRS has paid out more than a half a billion dollars.